Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the ultimate, and welcome to episode 18 of Let's Platinum Dungaropa V3 Killing Harmony. Okay, let's go and talk to people from right to left. So we talked to Ryoma last time, let's start next Kurumi. Why did the culprit not step forward and take advantage of the first blood perk? Huh? What? Ben. The culprit must have killed to survive, so it is odd that they would not step forward. Hmm. True. I wonder what that means. That's true. I can think of several possibilities. But the worst case scenario is, the culprit's objective wasn't to survive, it was to kill everyone here. Huh? Everyone? That, is correct. that would explain why they would forego their survival in favor of a class trial. Um. But doesn't that seem like a bit of a stretch to you? Do you agree? Well, if the culprit is already is well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it's certainly plausible. Well, true. Killing us all does seem like something the Mastermind would do. So we cannot lose this fight. Even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. Okay, and we're talking to Shuichi next? Yep, okay. Shuichi's gonna have a lot to say, probably. Hey, Kaede, do you remember what we saw when we came in here? Yeah. I remember. We saw the moving bookcase close on its own, right? No one even touched it, so how did that happen? Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. Shuichi moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. Is that all right? Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase, he let go of the bookcase, and after waiting for a bit... Oh! It closed on its own! The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closes after a period of time. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. If it didn't close on its own, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside. The bookcase has, has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. Moving bookcase has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. But wait. <laughs> that was so funny, the level up sound and then uh, Kaede's like zoom in, was, it matched really well. But wait, if the bookcase closes itself after you enter the hidden door... Oh, maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself was because the mastermind was hiding just past the hidden door. You're right. After killing Rantaro, they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible. Let's check that now. Huh? Huh? How do we check it? Remember. The dust on the card reader, remember? Shuichi moved the bookcase again to reveal the hidden door once more. You see this animation so many times. I think they were really proud of it. <laughs> then... Alright, let's see. We leaned in to get a closer look at the gap of the card reader. The dust is still there. You're right. It looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. Mm. What if the mastermind replaced the dust after they used the card reader? No. No. I remember exactly where I put the dust. This hasn't been moved at all. <laughs> okay. okay. Whatever you say. <laughs> I think it's safe to assume the mastermind did not go through this door. Um. Then the one who moved the moving bookcase at the time was... Rantaro himself? No. I can't say for sure. We'll know more when we get the pictures back. There's a chance that someone else was hiding here. Card reader dust has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. I see. Well, I still think the mastermind is the culprit. Um. So we just need to find the clues that can connect us to the mastermind. We'll end the killing game that way too. That sounds like confirmation bias to me. Alright, let's talk to Mew. I love how the, the bookcase is moving back and you can actually still interact with the characters and everything. That's cool. Nice little touch. Don't talk to me, Crotchitch. Uh, I'm effing busy. Mew continued ignoring us while she fiddled with the controller. What's that controller for? Dun da da dun! It's a prone. Prone? I don't mean to butt into the conversation, but don't you mean drone? If it was a prone, it'd team up with the rest of the Ganglion Alliance to destroy humanity. 
I have no idea what she's talking about. And I have no idea what she's talking about either, so feel free to inform me. It's obviously a reference to something, but I don't know. W wait a second. The controller is... <laughs> now you're getting it. Uh, yeah, that word. She laughed obnoxiously and pointed her finger upward. Upward. Ha! Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Mia Liruma. It's a drone. <laughs> I told you that's a drone. If it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. I don't get it. When did you have time to make this? I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for, so I modified this RC plane. I even decked it out with a camera so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. From there, I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> Drafting a floor plan with photos? That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. Out of my way. The only problem is I'm not used to operating a drone and taking pictures with it. Jeez. You shouldn't be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. Bitch. I can't do crap about that. So just calm your tiny tits and shut up. <laughs> oh, shut up you. My chest is way better than your nasty cow artists. <laughs> Others? Others? Actually, You're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. A wuss. <laughs> Alright, Smoogie. I don't know who killed Rantaro, but it's Manakuma's fault it happened. Because he pressured us, this happened. That motive he gave us is part of it, and so is that strange music. He played that music at such a high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. Uh, okay. It was awful. I thought I'd go crazy. I can't believe it. I bet someone felt pressured by that and killed Rantaro. It's all Monokuma's fault. Um. Anyway, we have to stop the mastermind so this is the last murder that ever happens here. We just have to. Promotional video background music has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. All right, now we will go over to Rantara's body. So you gotta go here, near the body. Pretty sure I don't need to tell you this, but shouldn't we investigate Rantara's body? Uh, um... Yes, if we want to find clues, we have to. But if it's too much for you, Kaede, you don't have to, okay? No. It's fine, I can do it. My mind was set, and I started to walk toward Rantaro's body. The last time I saw Rantaro, he was alive and well. Hmm. Why did Rantaro die here? Huh? What do you mean, die here? Remember. I mean, if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, that would mean he came all the way over here after the bookcase opened. He moved away from the hidden door, to this spot. Why would he do that? And there's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Are you okay? You've gone pale. Although I guess that's normal. We have to investigate a body after all. The body of someone who was alive and talking to us just a little while ago. No. It's okay, really. We just have to do our best. Not just for Antaro's sake, but also so we can avenge him. And so we can protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. Hey! Um, Kayeri, I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I am sort of a detective, after all. Jeez. Sort of? You are a detective, remember? Uh, okay. Uh, right. <laughs> Okay, so I think we have to examine Rantara's body and the bloody shot put ball. Let's try the bloody shot put ball first. A bloody shot put ball is on the ground. Could it be... This shot put ball? Could it be... Yeah. Yeah. It definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. Hmm. 
There's blood all over it. That's the murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that could have been used. You're right. The shot itself is heavy. You would have to be fairly strong to use it as a weapon. Fairly strong, huh? Bloody shot book ball has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Okay, Rantara's body. Um, I know we need to examine his body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. It's okay, uh, I can do it. Shuichi showed no hesitation as he began to examine Rantara's body. There's blood on the back of his head. It looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with blunt force, f blunt force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The Monokuma file is accurate. This must be the fatal wound. Um. So, we can trust the Monokuma file? Yes, for now. Shuichi then stuck his hand into Rantara's pocket. Huh? Wait, what are you doing? I'm checking what he has on his person. There might be a clue. If we're going to do this, we have to be thorough. I told you I would support you after all. How can you say that with so much confidence? Come on, Kaede, pull yourself together. Rentaro had in his possession the key to his room and the student handbook monopad. The monopad is definitely his, and it's exactly the same model as ours. He didn't have a card key on him? Could it be? That's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. Then Rantara really wasn't the mastermind? Hmm. If he was the mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the card key. So with what we know now, that is the most likely possibility. Why was Rantaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? Rantaro's belongings has been, have been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Okay, now give me a sec, so... Okay, cool. Are you okay? Kaede, are you okay? We've finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so now we back out. Okay, that's all well and good. Hmm. Something is bothering me. Why did Rantaro come to the library? It seems likely that he's not the mastermind. What reason did he have for coming here? Uh. I'm guessing it had something to do with what Rantaro mentioned earlier. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Hmm. Ending the game itself. Could it be? Then it's possible he noticed the hidden door in the library, just like we did. What? Uh, um... He might have come to the same conclusion we did, that the mastermind would come here. Um... You mean he had the same idea as us? No way. He should have told us. We could have worked together. I collapsed to the floor, crushed by the weight of my frustration. No. He probably couldn't risk telling us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone. I have you, Kaede, but Rantaro didn't have anyone he could trust. Hmm. That might have been the only difference between me and him. As he said that, he offered me a hand. I took his hand and he firmly pulled me up to my feet. Remember, Kaede, let's go. We can't waste time now. You're not going to give up, right? You're going to save everyone. Yeah. Shuichi. He's right. I can't give up now. Shuichi. Thanks. I feel like I can rely on you even more. Huh? Shuichi is right. We can't give up until it's over. I can't stay depressed forever. I have to help everyone get out of here. We have, to, we have to continue the investigation. We gotta find the mastermind. Okay, let's talk to Shuichi again. Annoyingly, all the books have come Shuichi. back. Hey, Shuichi, I need some advice. What do you think we should check first? I'm thinking about it too, but since you're a detective, you might know more than me. That's true. Hmm. What we should check first is if the areas where we place the cameras have changed in any way. Like the bookcases, the vent. I feel like there might be clues around there. Mm -hmm. I see. If I remember also, I think there may be clues around Rantaro's body. It might be hard to do, but... Well. 
And finally, we need to hear from everyone here. One of them might have noticed something we missed. Yeah. Okay, got it. Thanks, Shuichi. Okay. Uh, it's no problem at all. I hope I can be of some use. Okay, so let me have a look here. It says I suppose. Uh, ah, okay. I think I'm gonna examine this one here, the front bookcase near Ryoma. Tons of books are crammed into the bookcase and arranged in various stacks on top. Hmm. It doesn't seem as if anything has changed since we set up the cameras. Remember. The books that you stacked up haven't moved. Yeah. Oh, you mean the ones I stacked to keep people from going through the vent? You know what's interesting is like the way that she stacked the books on the left side, there's like a pattern that forms between the books. Like it's like this line pattern. I'm like, how on earth would that work? Like, how would you find exactly those books that have like these gashes in that particular way and then they line up to form almost what looks like a picture? I mean, I can't tell what it is, but or what if it's supposed to be anything, but it's weird. The books would never be like that. Uh, yep. Yeah, those have been left alone. Okay, stacked books has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Let's go to the air vent, which is actually up here. It's kind of hard to see. There it is. The vent is open. I was the one who took off the grate and left it in the duct. Hmm. And we were keeping watch in the classroom this vent leads to. I don't think the culprit came in or out through there. Yeah. That's true. Okay, library vent has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Now the hidden door so we're gonna have to use the moving bookcase the moving bookcase is closed right now so the hidden door is currently out of sight you guys set up the security sensor on top of this bookcase right yeah it should still be there let me check shuichi climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the moving bookcase it's still here i should take it down now Removing it is fine, but won't your receiver go off when you move it? No, No, it's alright. I turned the receiver off. Huh? You can turn it off? Okay. Yes, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside and I didn't want to alert them. I see. Smart thinking. Receiver on Shuichi has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hmm, let me try again. Okay. Oh, sorry. That's that's different. The movie book, bookcase is closed right now, so the hidden door is currently out of, out of sight. The bookcase automatically closes after a certain amount of time. So even if the mastermind goes through the door, the bookcase will go back to its original place. However, the dust Shuichi placed on the card reader hasn't been touched at all, which means the mastermind didn't go through. Okay, cool. That's it for that one. And now we have to examine both entrances. So the rear sliding door and the front door. This is the rear door. It's the furthest door from the stairs, and it leads to the hallway. By the way, this is a sliding door. See, it opens when you slide it. Uh, okay. Yes, I saw that. Mm -hmm. Do you think Rantaro entered through this door? Uh, uh, I can't say for sure until we get those pictures back from the monocubs. Mm. You're right, we'll just have to wait. Okay, and I think if we examine the front door, hopefully that's it for this place, but we'll see. It's the front door that leads directly to the basement stairs. We went through this door before we discovered Rantaro's body. Hmm. We entered the library through here with Kaito and Tenko. Yeah. We saw the moving bookcase close and then we ran over. And then when we ran over, That's true. we found Rantaro's body behind that bookcase. Hmm. I wonder if Rantaro entered through the same door as we did. Maybe the mastermind did too. When we see the pictures after the monocubs develop them, that will all that will be clear. I guess all we can do is wait. Okay, uh, I think I did it. Um, yes, nice. Kaede, I think we've investigated the entire library now. Um, but we still didn't know anything. But we still don't know anything yet. I feel like we didn't get any closer to the mastermind. You're right. The most important piece of evidence will be those photos. Once we get those. But then again, we can't just say that and do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. Mm. Keep investigating? That's true. Yes, I think we should collect alibis. We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Rintaro was killed. I see. If that's the case, then who should we question? Mm -hmm. 
The six people that went down to the basement with Arintaro, Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, and Himiko. Let's talk to them first. They should have been in the game room along with Rantaro. Let's ask them about what happened there. Yeah. Okay, let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. Alright, let's get out of here. Nice. It's It can sometimes be a little bit tricky to work out what you're supposed to investigate when it comes to the investigations because they want you to investigate like so many different things and then maybe not as many things, so it's a bit weird, yeah. Alright, cool. So we have finish the or part part of the investigation we'll do more next time for now i want to thank you all for watching episode 18 of let's platinum dungaromba v3 killing harmony my name is ultima 456 you're the ultimates and i'll see you next time